Hey guys, Alex Mazzucan here from Mr. Build It. We're gonna take a look at two very different competitive light bulb solutions, the Philips Hue and the Wiz. Both are very different and priced very differently. So let's compare these two neck to neck. I'll show you what we come up with and you be the judge. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Let's go. All right, so let's talk. In this corner, we have the Philips Hue. A couple things about it, it puts out about 800 lumens. The wattage is the equivalent to your typical 60 watt system. They're offering 16 million colors to choose from and 50,000 shades of white. It's compatible with your typical Amazon Alexa, Google Home, and Apple HomeKit system. It offers cool features where you can set your own schedule when you turn on the lights or when the lights are turned off. You can set vacation modes, you can set dimmability, color selection, and amongst other things, including the ability to sync it with your TV, music system, or gaming system, and have the lights beat to that beat of the music. In this corner, we have the competitor, the slightly larger in size, the Wiz. This offers 16 million colors, 64,000 different selections of white or shades. It is 800 lumens as well. It offers that 60 watt equivalent system as well. It functions off of a Wi-Fi range signals of the 2.4 gigahertz offers the same variations of settings, kind of like the vacation mode, the dimmability, the mood selection, uh, amongst perhaps an additional setting where this connects to certain thermostats and allows for it to turn on or off based off of certain signals from sensors. As you can see, both offer similar capabilities, similar gadgets and gizmos that you can hook up to it. For example, you can both operate these systems anywhere from across the world via your smart home app. No problem, somebody shows up to your home, you can turn the lights on or off. If you forgot to turn off the lights, you can turn them off from your phone. Both offer the capabilities of hooking up an aftermarket remote, that way you can operate it without touching your phone. Now, how are these two systems different? Well, for starters, we can begin with the price point. The Philips Hue is marketed at $44.97. Now, in order for it to work, you need a hub, a bridge to be able to connect to your internet and transmit that signal. The Wiz, on the other hand, is marketed at $34.95, plus or minus depending on the market, and it does not require a external hub to be able to connect it to the internet. I think one of the giveaway factors is the fact that this is larger and this is smaller. Now you may be wondering for the Philips Hue, the hub you're talking about. Well, here's the hub. The way it works is this little module connects to your internet router through a little ethernet cable and a power cable. Once it's hooked up, you press the button, the bridge is activated, and it sends a signal to connect the light bulb to the hub to your internet. There are systems where you can buy about like four light bulbs with the hub already included with the price point kind of wrapped all together. But if you want to buy the system separately, you can buy the hub for roughly around 59, 60 bucks. That is in addition to buying the light bulbs. Now the last thing to discuss is installation. I've had the Philips Hue system in my kitchen for a few months now. I've worked out the kinks and I made a blog post. I'll put a link down in the description below for you to check out and see how hard or easy it could be to install it. In the meantime, since the Wiz is brand new to us, let's open the box, install it in one of our lamps, connect it to our app, and see how easy or hard that could be. Let's do it. All this work is making me thirsty. Well, there you have it, guys. That is the Wiz system. Installs very simple, connects to your Wi-Fi very quickly. The in-app application, a lot of cool different settings you can go, set your schedule, set your mood, set your lights. You see a lot of probably flickering in the video. That's because this is being shot at like 60 frames per second. That's an LED light bulb. They put out these really fast kind of things. You can't see the flickering to the naked eye. I don't know how to explain the science. It's it's black magic. I don't know how it flickers, but you don't see it. It only is catchable on camera. Anywho, if you have a scientific explanation of why cameras catch LED lights flickering like that, uh, leave them in the comments down below. Educate me, please do. But in the meantime, if you like this system, I'll put a link down in the description below for you guys to check out. Tune in out this week. We'll see you guys next week. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet already. We do videos like this all the time. See ya. Bye.